Hey, girl, hey. Look at that little dog. Here he is. It's Mr. KB. Hey, KB. Okay, me and KB are reporting to you live from YouTube. First, uh, this is like, oh, I can't get a good intro. Okay, 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 because I don't do this. I just be like, hey, girl, hey, and keep it moving. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. All right, let me practice this. This is my first video for this series, Tips and Tricks, How to Be the Best Dancer You Can Be. Maybe it's because my camera is not flipped the way I like it to be. Okay, hopefully I like that better. Hopefully I'm so much more comfortable with that because for some reason, something was giving me anxiety. I don't know what it was, but something, something was uh, scurring me, okay? In today's episode, we are discussing how to attract customers. What we're gonna start at is when you first get into that freaking club. I'm gonna let you know right now, this makeup right here is like, my makeup is should be taken off right now because it's like the end of the day. I just got off work, by the way, and I just thought, hey, let me give them this video. But yeah, my first point that I wanna make is your appearance. Girl, you better not be going into work looking like you got out of bed. The best thing to do, have your makeup done. Take the time to really do your makeup. That means even if you gotta invest, go to work, um, budget out some things. You don't gotta get no expensive makeup. I'm be honest, I don't get expensive makeup, but I still look like a baddie. What I do is I use like foundation or concealer. I don't even know the difference of it. That's how you know my shit be ghetto. Cause I don't even know the difference between foundation and concealer. But I get it from Walmart. I just go color match my skin, be like, okay, it is gonna fit there. I do actually got like four shades right now because I got like a summer shade, a winter shade, and whatever the fuck is in between. You don't have to like go get everything expensive. You got clear skin, cool. You ain't got to conceal shit. The basics you really need, your lashes, your eyebrows, a good lip. As long as you got them, you should be good. But I mean, make sure your face is looking right. Don't just be, oh, I woke up today and this is just what I'm doing. Even if you don't do nothing to your face, you make sure your hair done though. Your hair better be done. Whether that's you like got your silk press, whether you are rocking your natural curls, make sure your curls is popping. Don't let them be looking dry. I don't care what hair type you have you can have 4c and i'm speaking to the natural girls you can have 4c or shoot your hair could be literally wavy like this even though i wave this myself i crimped it in the morning your hair could literally be like this type of curl pattern put some oil in something do something to your hair part it cute whether you're gonna put some hairspray in to make your roots look bigger oil and conditioner goes a long way i don't think there's such thing as good hair and bad hair one term i hate anyway is the n-word hair i hate i hate those terms all hair is good hair that's my statement i don't i hate good hair by itself but my statement for good hair all hair is good hair as long as it's taken care of if you don't like taking care of your hair great bet throw a wig on you better throw your wig on i'm gonna be honest with you right now i got me some twist right up under this wig i will show you guys if y'all can see them. But I hate having my hair in straight backs. Even though I just put some straight backs in for my last vlog. But like, yeah, do something to your hair. Me, I throw a wig on. I call that shit a day. Because I'm not trying to do my natural hair every day. I'm just not. It's it's a lot. It's a lot to deal with. This, um, it's very easy to maintain. Do I love my natural hair? Hell yeah, I love my natural hair. But do I throw this on for just for ease? Fuck yeah. Hell yeah. Make sure your nails are done. I don't care if you gotta go to the press ons. You can go get your press ons. You ain't got no money to do your nails right at the moment. You can go get your press ons. They sell them at Dollar Tree. You, know, you gotta get some Dollar Tree press ons till you upgrade to the better press ons. And then at the better press ons, you, 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 mean you might you might not want to leave press ons. You might stay with press ons. But after the better press ons, you can go get your nails done. Get you some acrylics on. Do something to your nails. And it goes the same for your toes. Guys, pay attention to these things. Trust me, they do. Take the time to moisturize that skin. Your skin needs to be looking like butter. I will tell y'all right now, and some people gonna be in my comments like, no, no lotion at all. Baby lotion. Um, I think it might be the Johnson & Johnson. I need to, I'm gonna I'm a fact check that before I post this video. I'm gonna look it up and see if that's the kind. 
but I used to put on I used to put on Johnson and Johnson baby lotion. It was like the soft cotton touch scent. My legs would be moisturized as fuck. But guess what? It would not leave a oily residue on the pole. So that works for me. Just make sure your skin is moisturized. Don't be having no ash. Yes, I do be ashy sometimes in my vlogs. But I'm telling y'all when I hit that floor, I'm moisturized, okay? Don't even play with me. I'm moisturized when I hit that floor. The next thing I put smelling good, but Hold up. There's nothing like a warm, welcoming smile. I'm just gonna read off what I have from the smile because I'm like, I could go stuff on top of my head, but I'm probably just gonna literally say the same thing I put right here. And if I think of something add-on, then I'll add that in. Some men are coming in for comfort. Let me explain it. People could say, oh, you gotta be serious in a strip club. You gotta be serious. You gotta do this. I'm gonna let y'all know from my experience, I get a lot of clientele by this and they always compliment me on it you didn't have to have the most perfect smile just smile let them know like yes yes i'm interested in you yeah the smile it's this warm in your soul yeah, yeah 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 just just smile just to smile okay, so first one was some men are coming in for comfort and smiling helps them smile is just so warm and welcoming some men are intimidated by strip clothes in the first place so if you got your resting bitch face on and you just sitting there, do you think that man who is intimidated by coming there in the first place is going to come to you? He's not. If he is, he got some balls. I want you know right now, me, I'm very pretty. And without a smile, I'm not going to lie to you. I know I look like a bitch. Yes, I know I look like a bitch. Look at me not smiling right now. I look like I got a motherfucking attitude. But you can turn this into this real quick. Real quick. Just smile because they're going to like it, okay? And you see that? Look at that. Sexy smiles are sexy. Sexy red, period. Even with my boo. I'm going to tell you right now. From personal experience, with my boo. It's a lot of times I be looking stupid. It's a lot of times I be saying some dumb shit. Or I might be too serious for him. Whatever the case is, I might do some shit to piss him off. To talk to him like this, like, hey. How you doing? How you feeling? Um, even if I say some dumb shit right now, but I'm just smiling. Like, it don't really matter. Like, you're going to love me because I'm smiling. And I, yeah, just smile, okay? My next point under smiling, some men might be goofy and very friendly in the first place. And that smile is going to help them catch your vibe more. That smile is going to catch their vibe. They're going to be like, hey, she's smiling. She cute too. <laughs> that's what I'm about to work with. That's what I'm about to work with. You know, that's men think like that. So put that smile on. My last point under smiling was there's nothing more welcoming than a smile. So now I can go back up to the second thing I have on my list, which is smelling good. After you look like a baddie, period. Purr, purr. And then. You're smiling. Say that you're trying to ignore your smile. If you're smelling good, period, they're gonna be like, she bad and she's smiling, she look friendly, and she smells like damn. Okay, okay, okay. Last thing I gotta check out is the dance moves. You done passed through the test already. Hey, everything slight on you. You smiling and you smell good. That's an attractor right there. Always use body mist, okay? You know what? I'm going to do a what's in my bag haul for y'all one day. But not right now. But I will show y'all the body mists that are in my bags. So I actually got two bags. I might have like random body mist around in each way. But I'm going to just dig through and pull out what is coming up. So first of all, Fresh and Clean by Victoria's Secret Pink. That's what's in this bag. Oh, here's some more body mist. I did see some, but I'm going to just open this anyway, just to look. I do got some perfumes in here, but clearly I will have more body mist than anything. Okay. And it could be a half and half. I just got to see what I got. In total, I have one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight cents in my bag. So I guess it's half and half. But 
the ones I use consistently, I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. Y'all need to go get this shit. Go get this tea sugar flare or flare, whatever this is. Somebody correct me, whoever. I don't know. What, however you say it. Um, it's their newest one. This shit smells good. And I didn't want to like go big at the time so i just got this little roll on but it smells so freaking good i got lots of compliments on it but the ones i use the most are these i use fresh and clean all the time i use this this is victoria's secret um velvet petals this i think this is like one of my last resort ones just because it's so tease rebel is such a strong scent and then the whenever i'm just like i just want to smell fresh and fruity that's this one and so these you can spray these all the time which leads me to my next point on smelling good and i'm just gonna push these to the side i put always use body mist have several body mists which we just covered that i have like four and four perfumes spray it after every dance you need to spray this after every dance or and or interaction with customers the construction workers that come in that might be a little stinky there's and i we all know that okay there's some men that just don't smell that good but they still decide to come to the club anyway there might be a customer who has a really nice smelling cologne on but you don't want to you don't want to hug your next customer with that cologne that smell like a man this might be a regular or something and you need to smell like a girl you just want to smell good just in general you want to smell fresh and clean a hey, fresh and clean even if you don't like talk to anybody spray it every few hours like if there's a this dead woman in the club and anybody came in like the last hour or two go ahead and spray yourself spray yourself down and be fresh smelling good again or it don't gotta be fresh and clean just be freshly smell like whatever fragrance you want to smell like for that new customer that comes in the club because you never know when they're gonna come you want to be on your p's and q's which is smelling good these are things i always do even in the slowest clubs i'm gonna make some money okay and you can use perfume but i would just still say it'll be wasting your money because you want what i put on there i said you can use perfume but you really be wasting your money you want something to give a fresh smell and since you're going to use it a lot if you want to what i put i was i was talking i was talking to my phone y'all like y'all know how y'all press the voice and it's like la, 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 and then it just records everything y'all this voice do not this this voice thing do not be saying exactly what i'm saying so let me see what i put on there it still doesn't make sense on how I wrote it, but I said, you're gonna use it a lot. So you wanna have something at a cheap price that you can get a lot of. Body mist are cheap, they smell good, and you can use it over and over again. You're still gonna have a lot of it. It's gonna be a while before you run out of it because it's body mist and it's a large quantity of it. This probably cost me, this fresh and clean probably cost me like 12 bucks. This cost me like 15 for this small thing and this is perfume this is a roll-on perfume this is just a random body mist so next on my list do something to single you out from everyone else if everyone else is at the bar you go dance on the pole if everybody else is on pole practicing you go dance at the bar if the if the bar and the pole is full sit in a seat by yourself don't sit way far off to where a customer can't reach you or or he's gonna go to somebody at the bar anyway because you're like not it's not convenient to get to you and you're the customer that won't pay attention to you when he come in like sit a little close to where you can get that customer when he first come in but don't be around every other girl the man will still come to you because you're by yourself it's easier to talk to a girl when she's by herself. Remember, some of these men are coming in intimidated. Some of these men are coming in looking for some like look just looking for love. Some of them are going to divorce and they don't they don't they want to talk to somebody and have a one-on-one -on -one conversation. They don't want to be up by somebody else and all their friends. The men I always be with, they want a one-on-one -on -one intimate thing. Even if it's me giving advice, like they want to talk to me by myself. Last tip 
making that customer catch your vibe. This goes kind of along to smiling, giving eye contact. When that customer first come in, even if you're not smiling right away, look at them. Look at them be like, mm, catch eyes with them. You know how you're in school and y'all catch eyes with somebody, you're like, oh, Lord. Or, like, you catch eyes with your crush. It might be at school or work or whatever it is. You catch eyes with your crush and it's like, damn, look at him. He called me, look at him again. Look at that customer with them crush eyes. Look at them with the crush eyes. Just be like, hmm. Yeah, you looking cute. Mm -hmm. You looking cute. Okay, 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 okay. All right, you looking cute. And then that's when you can give a smile. They gonna like it. In that order, like, it's like hair looking good, her skin looking amazing. Okay, she looking at me. She looking at me cool. Oh, she just smiled at me. And then they walk past and you smell good too. How can they pass you up? You got all that, everything going for you. You're not just smiling, but you looking at them smiling. You singing their ass out and smiling at them looking at them smiling. <laughs> Don't look at it like that, but that is ugly. Let me do it again. Ew, that's ugly. If you're doing stay sets, really feel that stay set. Don't be up there looking nervous like, um, dancing a little bit, dancing. Like, it was my first day today, and I got the most dances. Part of what helped me get them dances. Hey, I'm on stage. They feeling me. They feeling me. Like, you ain't got to dance good. Just feel the way you're dancing. Don't be like, oh, that's an ugly dance. If this, if this is your only dance, if this is your only dance, you better, mm, 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 uh, you better love that dance, okay? If your dance is only with your finger and you can only do this, and you can only do this, you better, you better, you better love that fucking finger move. So, you need to see your own dance or else that customer not gonna feel it, okay? Now... Last thing I put under making your customer catch your vibe is if no other girl is talking to the customer, get your ass over there and talk to that motherfucking customer. Go talk to that customer. Period. Point blank. I don't play, okay? I don't play. And a lot of girls get intimidated by that and they don't, they be thinking I'll be out to do something to somebody or whatever the case is, shark people or I don't know, step on other girls' toes. No. Y'all are not going to talk to this customer. I'm about to go talk to them. Sometimes for customers, it's just who goes to them first. The customer might not even have a type. He might, you not, might not even need to be cute. It's been, I don't know, it's been some days where I forgot my makeup or something and I wasn't looking up to par. I forgot my eyelashes. My hair wasn't done the best. But guess what? Still talking to customers just in general got me a dance. You ain't got to be looking the baddest. You don't got to look the baddest. Just go talk to the customer. You can't say that you did, that you did your full potential if you ain't even tried to approach the customer. I hope you guys like those tips and tricks. And I'll catch you next time on the next tips and tricks video. So say bye to me, KB. KB, come here. Say bye. Say bye. Say bye to the camera. Right there. Right there. Bye. Bye. My name is Katie. Bye. Bye, girls. Oh. One more thing. Okay, I'm thinking I'm scaring him. I'm going to put him down. One more thing. Because I'm going to say this at the end of all my videos. Wake up. Slay your makeup. Get your pipe up. Period. All right. Bye now.